still has power, it just decided to restart. I don't know why I decided to do that. Uh, Alright, Doc, I, I just got to know what I'm talking about six months ago. I wasn't there where it goes, my dead pack. Just being like, no, you know what, I feel like they're turning off and turning back on again. Uh, I am, but, I am, but not right now. Okay, we're gonna keep everything together, Skip. So now Harrison Barnes is there, there is no KD. What what LeBron they didn't see KD come. It wasn't like they were positioning the same trade. Yeah, we didn't take on there. They could have easily extended Harrison Barnes. Yeah. yeah, but they were like, hold on, we just don't we just don't let it play out. There's a lot of luck going on here. Well the luck was was Kevin Durant knocking on your door. Yeah. It's just not it's not not, not not extending uh Harrison Barnes. Right. But what he did see is that they're not playing as well as they did in the years to get those contracts. We need to move on. Well, if you got one year left on the deal, Skip, that's one thing. You got two or three, 
it's hard to, un uh, to unload contracts when you got two or three years left. So now you're in a situation, what can we do? They couldn't do anything last year, Skip. They really, I mean, you move a few pieces here and there, but the board is pretty much the same. Well, he's like, you know what, man? This all the end. I need to have some. Instead of going year to year, I need to have some long term success. I will trust you, Magic. I think you and I have both the, the same thing, the same interest in mind, and that's winning long term. Man, you're trying to line your pocket. You don't care about it. I had to keep them by. Make sure you cared about winning. That's why he locked those seats. You know what he did, Skip? You made him sign the gas court side seats. In February, you had to sign a three year extension. I'm suing. I'm going to sue. Come on. You got the biggest drawing yeah. sports. Well, he made him sign a three year extension. No, what? What did he know, Skip? There's a 98% chance that you can prove that LeBron is going to come here. Basically, charging them for, for what's happening right now. Exactly. Right. So with that being said, Skip, I do believe LeBron understands that this year, the likelihood of let's make a trade for Kawhi, and it seems that they're cooling on Kawhi. Yes. Says we feel we can get him in, in free agency. With that being said, I do believe LeBron says this year, if a one starting in 2019 or 2020, that's what we're going to do. He can check the ship. I trust that uh, LeBron will look at Matt Johnson to build this thing. I'm just going to sit back with my arms folded. Do what I do with the MVP this year. Mm. And uh, we'll see you quick about team. Mm. Yeah, so, it's like this I brought this up so Monday, and I'm going to bring it up much more strongly cycles, right here, right kills now. kills everything. I am astounded by this. It looks like LeBron James has given up the ghost, as in given up chasing that ghost up in Chicago, as in no longer chasing chips as in championships with any desperate urgency whatsoever that he is completely content to sit back and say magic in you i trust build it slowly but surely yeah. but, but remember it's slowly but surely because next year could be the slowly part yeah. and it looks like unless you said you just got the no look yeah. that we haven't seen well i don't know i'm, I'm waiting i'm waiting but it's also very possible that the no look is we're just going to sit right here where we are and keep our cap wide open for next year. And then maybe we get the lot. Maybe we bring in Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. I don't know. You know, maybe that's when you go super team is next year. But that means that entering his 16th season, LeBron is willing to take one year, quote unquote, off. Now, again, you can say he can go after that MVP. I got that. But as far as winning, contending, competing, next year's going to be a wash. And it looks like, and I said it last Monday, it looks almost like LeBron finally just eased aside and said, you know what? I've been to eight straight finals. That means that eight straight years in the Eastern Conference, we were the prohibited favorite. Maybe not prohibited, but the favorite to win the East. And I had to live with that burden on my shoulders for 82 games a year, or however many he played, for eight straight years. Maybe he's just a little worn out mentally and he just needs a break. Right. Well, next year would be a figurative break. But the problem is, he's not getting any younger. And again, is he, is he mortal? I think he's mortal. He, he's the most durable superstar I have ever seen. But I told you yesterday, he is now on pace over the next three Lakers seasons to pass Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for the most minutes ever played in the history of this league. Yeah. The human body can only take so much. And at some point, there are going to be some diminishing returns. Because I'm going to remind you, it took Kareem until he was 41 years of age to set that minutes mark. Right. And in his final season at age 41, guess what he averaged? 10 points and 5 rebounds. Yeah. Not exactly Kareem Abdul-Jabbar number. No. Does LeBron want to have one of those at the end of the year? I don't think so. No. I think LeBron will stop before he'll do that. Yeah, but I, I don't think, I, I, here's the thing. Uh, I just believe that LeBron going to year 16, he'll be 34. Because think about it. So even if, if, if LeBron plays four more years, he'll still be 30 years, he'll still be three years younger at 20 seasons than Kareem was. Hey, but he didn't obviously play college right. basketball. Exactly. And Kareem was forced to play college basketball, after, right? You're, at, you're okay. absolutely right. So, again, the, the pro wear and tear, the NBA wear and tear is just more extreme and severe. Plus, the plus the Olympics. And plus the ring, they go to eight straight finals. Mm -hmm. He went to a bunch once he got to the Lakers. That's it. No, I got you. But to me, 
LeBron truly prioritized L.A. lifestyle in being near to his second career in Hollywood. Those were the two most important things, and to be on the Lakers stage, no matter what happens this coming year. Do you believe this was the best move for him professionally and personally, coming to the Lakers? Or chasing chips that I'm, I can't get get used to it but, but I'm pretty sure that's what just happened that that he gave up that chase. Well, here's the fact Jim, how did he go to Cleveland if Chris Paul signs for the match James Harden on the match and LeBron James says he's never played for anything less than the match so how do you fit those three guys in this well, I mean LeBron there just said we'll do it again next year we'll mix the match and get a little bit better maybe but what in Cleveland or what you stay in Cleveland there's a part of me, I wanted to see him just see it out. Just did it. He did. It feel good. He did. For four years. He, he saw it out. And then he realized, let's get a lot of this all in now. It was partly because of LeBron. And although he's not saying, Dan Gibbons, you got to do this. But he's putting a lot of pressure. He's not making those decisions. But through his actions and through some of the, the signals that he's sending, we need to get this. Okay. So maybe he realizes Winning at all costs this year hurts us down the road. Okay, how much down the road does he have left? Man. That's the big question. Yeah, I, I don't believe still uh, uh, I don't want to be around. I gotta get a I longer one to go out. He could probably, year 18, still be at worst. That's usually what you do while you're driving. Let's yeah, talk about it. I do believe this year, yeah. next year, he can be, he can still be the best player. But once you start to be 18, 19, like early in the morning, still I mean, you ask you, like you said. Yeah. What type of music would you be listening to? If you had music on. Open to that red line. You stay fine. I do everything. If you can go to the red line. Yeah. But how long can you stay in that red line? How long can you get to the red line? Now, he don't take care of himself. He might know what the court is. He just blessed the body. The genetic lottery. He's a little country. 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 He's
standards that a cowboy coach needs to measure up to. All he's got going for him is that Jerry Jones loves him like a son, and that's not they, enough. They close down half the lane. Me. Yeah, it's enough for Jerry. It's not enough for me, highway. because at that yeah, point, Jason has also been an interim coach yeah. for eight but games, so five and three in the interim. Direction. So his overall record after sort of third, yeah, three and a half seasons as the cowboy coach yeah, I feel is like 29 I'm and 27. That's right not good enough. Um, so I was on the record then, and what does he do uh, the next year? He goes 12 and 4, and they should have won both of their win, first two playoff games, and they lost the one on the catch that wasn't a catch. You agree with it? It's a catch. It's a catch now, but the rules stipulate well, that. I can't even get worked up about it because Des been so bad the last few years. I can't even defend him anymore. So now you realize that Dan finally didn't even drop that ball oh, real. I don't, I don't realize that. I just can't defend it. That was the beginning of the year, right? Well, yeah. you know what? It was. <laughs> and, and that was the beginning of his contract drop, right? Yeah. That offseason, and he yeah. got his money. He got yeah, he also got yeah, the he got up in the truck. But, uh, uh, he he the back. Back. Wow. So, back to Jason Garrett. Not only do I believe he is not on the hot seat, I still believe he has one of the coolest seats in all of sports. I think he's a made man. I think he's good to go. 
So we're serious fucking eyes on. So we just chilling. Yeah. yeah. Chilling because he is exactly what Jerry wants sitting in that seat. Because he mostly you. agrees with everything Jerry says. I know Jason because I covered him when he was a backup quarterback and he's a really good guy. Yeah. He's a nice guy. Yes, I, I really like him. I like him a lot. Yeah. You, you, nobody doesn't like Jason yeah. here. Maybe some players turn on him, but the point is, just as a guy, just to socialize with, just to hang around with, he's great. Yeah. And Jerry prioritizes two things, Jerry Jones over winning. Right. So J uh, J uh, Jimmy Johnson created a very uncomfortable zone for <laughs> Jerry Jones in the front office. For everybody. Shame Jerry in front of other assistants, in front of office staffers, to the point that Jerry finally said, hey, I'm the boss, and you're fired. Right. Yeah. No, that's what he said after he said, I can't take that anymore. I'm, I don't, I'm not going to live long enough to take that from you. But that worked on the football field because Jimmy was the flip side of Jason Garrett. Jimmy created the scariest dynamic I've ever seen. He motivated by fear because the players were scared to death of him because he's going to fire somebody in a moment's so notice. Can you imagine the player going? Behind Jimmy's back, going up there and talking to Jerry, no. like they do, like they've done since Jimmy has been out of there. Yep. Can you imagine that skip thing? I'm sure Tony Belichick and, and, and Mr. Kraft have had some disagreements. But where Coach Belichick is like in charge of all the football operations, yep. Mr. Kraft is not in there trying to do anything, no. trying to show how much knowledge he has. And yeah, Jerry that made it clear from day one, I am the general manager of this football team. Right. Said I could coach the you know what out of this team if I chose to, right. and I think now he has chosen to right. with his puppet Jason Garrett. He loves his puppet, and who would? But I don't love his puppet as a head coach because I wasted a lot of my time watching this all or nothing, this Amazon docu series on the Cowboys last season. So you can see a lot of the scenes of Jason Garrett talking both his coaches and the team. And the team just turns them off. You just look at the audience and you know, they're like, oh, no, they're in their little theater. Oh, they got the theater, really, yeah. yeah. And the player throws them off. It's vanilla, uninspiring, cliche, really. The only thing that enlightened me was, off camera, Jason Gares had a really foul mouth that I didn't know he had. I'd never heard him. They got paid. You think they got paid for this? Probably. You don't know Jerry doing anything for free? Jerry, I'm about to do it for attention. Same as the accountability. Well, Jerry, he probably paid them to put down the He's like, if I do this right now, down the road, I'm going to be able to make some money off of it. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, man, the, for me, when I look at this, yeah. it's just angry. Yeah, I've sure. only played for him. I only played for him. Hardwood Hill and Mr. Lee. Mr. Hardwood Hill and Paul and Mr. Lee and Jerry. And they were very happy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, who you? Give me what you want. For me, give me what you want. Coaches, you guys put the game plan together. You guys are doing all the heavy lifting. You guys get the credit. We went the ball, we can we can act like hey, who's the first person to touch the trophy? Jeff or Luke. Uh, or or Mr. Graham. The owner's gonna be the first person. But Jerry will all the accolades. Oh, I drafted this play. I signed this play. I'm cool. Some of that is true, but go ahead. Yeah. But he wants the public credit. Yes! It's, it's your team. You're gonna get some credit. Got a trailer, but the trailer's empty. He's going to wherever we're going, pick up a load, and then take it to Boston. That's him. That's how he wants to coach his team. He's like, I can't be wrong. I got the most lucrative franchise in all the world. Not just North America. Bigger than FC Barcelona, Real Madrid, whoever you go. Carson Brooklyn sat down on Palaport, did you? Sounds awesome, though. It's already there, and I won't be coming back. For a while, Lee. Yankees got the pinch drive. There's no the pinch drive for McCarthy. He's bigger than the Yankees. 27 time world champ. Well, by the way, he now shares with you the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Yeah. Jerry Jones is in the Hall of Fame. Now, you can't, yeah. get, you can't hit Jerry the buzz with a red out. Uh, I'm a uh, Hall of Fame. I got three Super Bowls on my resume. Uh, yeah, I'm coach. Yeah. Two Jason. And Jason is the classic case of the coach who always does just enough to keep his job. Yep. Because they reversed it from 12 and 4 and 14. Remember, they went 4 and 12 yep. and 15. But uh, there was no Romo season. Yeah, yeah, we had Romo, we won. Okay. Then they go, we got the first round. We got the sky with their laps. And they go 13 and 3. Oh, yeah. Everything went wrong. Cool. They went 9 and 6.
97, and you can make the case for well, 97 is actually not bad considering what happened. And then for that 13 and 3, what he gets to take the care of the coach of the year. So everybody will say, well, how can you rock the guy after winning coach of the year? So now he has that on his in, in their playoff game that year, home field in that game, they lost to the guy you say is the greatest quarterback in the history of the world. Yeah, yeah. Well, so you can't lose that game. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if Don Glambo beat him, but you can give Jason Garrett the excuse of, well, he did lose to Aaron Rodgers, right? He's like, well, hold on. Jason, what did you do when you went up there on 31? 31 16? You win? 31 16? This is like the Marshall Trump. You came back in here and you're like, woo! You had the, you had the band. Marshall Trump. You lead the band. That's Dak Prescott. That's my quarterback. He beat the great Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. So every prediction I make on this show predicting my Cowboys to win a football game is always in spite of Jason Garrett. Like, I always have to have an asterisk. This, they're, they're going to overcome Jason Garrett to win this game. Because it always comes because he's Coach Platt. That's what I always want. He does best. He's Platt. He stands inside of Platt. And you know what when they want my job, Brock? That's like I'm in Mentos. Right? I like Chewy. Right? Yeah. 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 I mean, think, I mean, look at all these young folks. Look at Sean McVay. Look, look at Peter. Look at all the big with him. I mean, look at over their shoulder. Ain't doing the press on it. Oh, you, you don't want to hear about you, you know, about the kids. He all up in the video dancing. He and everybody, you know, he and all the coaches there. He and all the TV. Jake's trying to give him the old show and talk to him. So, I can't all wrong. All right, we're taking a little break from the bar ball. Yeah, that's a good conversation. You think you can help? See? Maybe that's a cool clap. <laughs> yep, someone tried to pick up. <laughs> <laughs> From what we're talking by Rod Parker, why spend every single holiday with him in the studio? To get drafted in the NBA? No. Nope. Oh, Rob, I gotta say. Okay. He was saying he was to LA before I heard anybody yeah. say. Oh, okay, you know he what? did. He was way ahead of that. He might have said that. That's fine. A lot of people said it. Peter Vesey even went out on the road about a year ago and said it was a done deal was going to happen. But anyway, they're not winning any championships. I, I just, I, I really don't see it from this standpoint. First of all, you're sure Lonzo's going to be on the team when, when, Le, when LeBron wins a championship. Or is he going to be on opening night? Right. Or, or the starting point guard with Rondo. I mean, Maybe not. you know Rondo, he's very competitive and mm. and, and is going to push and, and, and prove it. Yes, and prove it. And LeBron loves that. Yes. And we saw, we talk about Lonzo and LeBron. But here's the bigger thing. This is why I'm not sure LeBron is into the business of winning anymore. LeBron James really wanted to be in LA, period, no matter what. I've never seen LeBron make a commitment to a team without it being stacked ahead of time. And that he knows what is going to be there. It's nice to sit, th sit there and say, I believe in magic and whatever, but this organization yeah, this guy has had some issues with getting players. For contract Kobe Bryant, with cap space, could not get anybody to play here. Carmelo Anthony lives in Los Angeles and wouldn't play here. Dwayne Howard gave up $30 million to get away from Kobe and not play here. This is a beautiful place, a fabled organization, all that. Now, I believe the jig is up when it comes to LeBron. I really do. And you can put forward and make it like, oh, well, Paul George just did love the OKC and didn't want to come. This is two players now. So why? I mean, uh, Kyrie didn't want to play with LeBron. Greatest player on earth. Went to the championship. Was almost guaranteed in the East to 
go to the championship every year, have a chance to win. Yep. Most players wouldn't pass that up. So he didn't want to play. Paul George is from here. For over a year, talked about coming to LA. You talked about it earlier, right? Yep. He also he had his own track refused Seven to come months here. Told me. Wouldn't even take a meeting with the Lakers, Magic Johnson, and LeBron James is here. Wouldn't even take a meeting. So I'm starting to look at this, and I'm not convinced. And now the one is Kawhi saying, "I'm not that keen on joining a super team," and sounding like. Without saying I don't want to play with LeBron, I don't want to play with LeBron. If, if that's your best super team, because if you were to go and get Silver and Joel and be what would that be? If you were to go the Boston Silver with Kyrie, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, what would that be? No, I, I'm talking about... Would that be a super team? Yeah, but I'm talking about people joining LeBron is what I'm trying to say. Let's, let's just that's, say. that's what I'm looking at, and I'm not convinced of it. I don't think LeBron wins one championship. In the four years since well, a lot of my points that I made, Rob Parker already made. The only one that I, I he didn't make, skip out. It's spin them all different. No, 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 no. I believe they'll win one. I do believe they'll you win. You thought they were going to win one game against Golden yeah, State? Yeah, I did. You won three hundred. You know what? I guess I'm the only guy that's ever been wrong up here. You want to? You want to bet on Cincinnati? I'll bet, you're, you're I'll the bet only you guy right now. Since Cincinnati went to the Super Bowl, I guess that was, that was a great pick. Don't bring that up. But anyway. The thing is, Skip, and, and, and like Rob mentioned, how can you assure two titles when you can't assure that your son's going to be on the roster for two years? Hell, we're not even sure that he's going to be on the roster to open the title. Yeah, so... They so, got Rob, though? What does this about? I still don't get it. And, uh, Explain, please. I get I get it. He has the utmost confidence in his boy, and rightfully so. He's a dad, and parents believe their kids can do no wrong. But this notion that my boy, LeBron James, LeBron going to be so much better playing alongside my boy's game. That's just unleavened, just flat out ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I mean, LeBron James has played with some of them. I mean, Kyrie is, is spectacular. He's played alongside Dwayne Wade. They played Dwayne yes. within his prime. And granted, his knees started to get a little ball towards the end of his time. But LeBron James has played with some of the great players in this NBA. It's hard for me to believe that a second-year player is going to make LeBron James exponentially better. So, I believe they win one title. I, I hope LeVar's right and they win two. He's been wrong before. He's right now, he's probably bad at But, I give one title. I give one. By the way, you listen closely to what LeVar just said. So we heard it. He said, I'll give them two titles only if his sons are playing.
you're going to get diminishing, to your point, diminishing returns on LeBron. He doesn't play a lot of defense now because he can't. It's just he, he, he was so good on offense that he focused and channeled all of his energy into the offensive end. Was that championship material? I don't know because you, you do need more help. And that's, that's why this deal doesn't make any sense. Because, because you're giving up the first year. Would you admit that? That, that you're basically giving up one year year and saying, okay, I'm not going to left. He keeps talking about Magic's no look pass. Does Magic have one in his back? Yeah. yeah. If he's got one. What are you going to get? Don't worry, don't worry about it. Let me ask you a question. I'm trying to figure it out. We're figuring this out. When LeBron went back to Cleveland, was that a fact to you? They ever had Kyrie, and, and they had the first over, they had uh, Wiggins, who they turned into Kevin Love. Yes, it was. And in the Eastern Conference, when, when, he's not in the Eastern Conference That was stacked anymore. in the East. In the East, that's stacked. But you remember, they didn't have Kevin Love until LeBron got back. Do you believe Kevin Love would have gone to Cleveland without LeBron? But, but wait a minute. When he wrote his letter to, about coming back, yeah. he didn't mention Wiggins, who was what, the first pick? Yeah. Okay? Didn't even mention Wiggins about coming to Cleveland. Because everybody knew that Kevin Love was already, you know? Yeah, it's true. He don't like playing with, he don't like playing with, he like playing with veteran guys. He don't like guys playing with potential. He liked to know. He knew Kevin Love was a 26 and 12. Yeah. Here's the other thing. I, I think you were dissing Paul George. I, I think Paul George, what he talked about was, was honest. I think the Lakers just assumed that if someone's coming, they can have their cake and eat it too. They figured, we don't have to give up anything. We'll just wait. He says he wants to be here. We'll wait. Name, you know name, what happened? The question. You can't do that. Name, That's why I'm name, telling you. Name the team that would have given up the second pick in the draft for Paul George. Do you really want Paul George to go with LeBron James? Would you have really wanted that in the draft? Absolutely. The Lakers offered two late first rounders than Josh Hart, or oh, not Josh Hart, uh, George Clark. What your team would give up the second? Because people believe Paul George can be on a championship team, but only the second best player. No, I get that. We've seen him in the lead role. We've seen him in the lead role. How did that work out for him? All I'm saying is always thinking that everybody's going to come here. Just go back, Shannon, and look at Kobe's last few years with the Lakers. They had nothing but money, Skip, and nobody would come here. Nobody but who would want to play with Kobe and, and, and the Los Angeles Lakers organization. What? But who thinks Kobe game and LeBron James was sick? Everybody knows. I'm that. just talking about playing with a great player no. who won five championships. There's, there's a different great stage. stage. On a great stage. Rob, Rob, you know for a fact there's a difference between playing with a great player that ball home and playing with a great player that's unselfish. Now stop, you being disingenuous. We talk about, oh, Kobe's a great player. But you talked about how he ball home. Yeah, yeah, but the if you play with LeBron, you get the brunt of everything that's bad. There's large you get that. That's what you have to first. worry about. Right. At least lanes, Kobe will take the, the, the brunt no of the bad program. Bobby Brown said no, he did. That's Smush Parker said no, he did. Smush Parker. Oh, oh, oh now nah, Smush Parker. See what you did? Guys, you want to name every Cosby kid too many players? <laughs> all I'm asking is, all I'm asking is, why would you request a trade? Because you were so happy here in LA. Why would you request a trade? The man who requested a trade. Oh, he wanted them to get some more. Oh, so there's the whole time without you. I got to get rid of the shot. Right. Shaq was gone. Shaq was in Miami. Shaq was in Miami. Yeah, oh yeah. Was the talent wasn't big enough for both? No, I, I get that. I'm talking about before they got power to solve. When they weren't making the playoffs, they didn't get stuck in the first. They didn't get out the first round. You remember that? Yeah. They were not making the playoffs. They didn't get out the first round. You remember that? When you said he wanted to leave? I remember that. They, I remember they weren't convinced to solve. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
ball squat up a little bit. The, 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 the Browns going to have the ball in his hand. So, you know, he's going to be the de facto point guard. But by renouncing Isaiah Thomas, you take a guard off the book. I think you do need something. And doesn't it just doesn't this fit the bill in regards to LeBron? Older player, mm-hmm. high IQ, has experience, can make plays. And finally, he gets a point guard that can make some plays. Mm-hmm. So it kind of fits into the mold of what he likes as a player on the court. And we don't know what other moves are going to be made in regards to the Lakers uh, this year. Mm-hmm. I don't know. If, you know, what do you do if you're an opposing team and taking a guy like Lonzo to deal with? Uh, influence. That's the question. Yeah. But I think it's a really good move for the Lakers. Great insurance policy. Someone you can depend on. I think we are talking about Boogie Cousins. Well, who's the insurance policy? Well, that's <laughs> well, no, but to, me, but to me, the insurance policy is Rondo because I know what he can do. Lonzo, I'm still trying to figure it out. But if default mechanism, I can always go back to, to Rondo. Right. To be able to run the team. And see, that's, that's where Skip and I are. We can't understand this move because normally when you have a guy like Lonzo Ball, you clear the decks for it. You don't bring a guy of that merit in Rondo to say, okay, you can come in and compete. They're making, if, the, sorry, if this is being true, you can compete for the starting job. They normally make it abundantly clear. If they do bring someone in, okay, he's our starter. It's like the quarterback skip, okay, he's our starter now. You do understand that. Right. They don't bring the guy that says, okay, you can compete with him for the starting job. No. Something magic now. Magic, you know, magic got. Now, did you think it magic backtrack from the original statements in regards to Lonzo kind of being the face in front? Again, LeBron is there now, yeah. but you remember he was all in, and I don't blame him at that perspective. He was in everything that has transpired over the last year. Again, sometimes you got to make adjustments and be realistic. Unless about where you're at. Lonzo Ball is about to be the centerpiece of a big Great. blockbuster. Yeah, right. exactly. Right? Exactly. It's possible. Yeah. That's how it's, that, it smacks of that. It smells of that to yeah. me. Because as soon as I heard it, I tweeted either Lonzo Ball is about to be an ex Laker or LeVar Ball is about to be furious because he was on Undisputed and on June the 12th taking shots at Luke Walton for his curious sort of substitution patterns okay. with Lonzo Ball because he always yanks him mid first quarter and sometimes he'll sit him all the way Somehow to mid second quarter. Band. And I'm with LeVar on that one because I thought it broke the kid's rhythm and momentum. Some Sounds nights he deserved okay, to play uh, in the second quarter, if not most of the first half. Really good. Just Some nights he did, but I'll be dropped all I can figure out is if you're going to keep in, uh, did you no, bring in a Rondo yeah, who's known for his mental and physical toughness to compete. You've been in that position before where, where you had to, to literally compete with, with a guy who can teach you how to play harder and sort of light a fire under you that magic from a distance could not light. Luke Walton could light it. Walton could light it. Maybe hours. Rondo head-to-head with him can light it. Skip, if I'm Rondo and I hear Magic Johnson tell me it's an open competition, he's telling me he won't be winning the job. Yeah. That's what Magic Johnson told me. Now, I don't know how anybody else, because if you tell me it's an open competition, hold on, you just draft this guy number two overall. I'm not committing to anybody for playing time. The best man wins. So you just told me you want me to go win this job. Because why else am I here? There's no way you bring me here with that guy there if you want him to be your starting opening night point guard. No chance. But he knows that, too. As a player, too, I remember when I would go from different teams, I would evaluate who's on the team who's playing my position. Right. And what they did well, what they didn't do. And I would figure out, okay, if they're not playing defense, this is a way for me to get on the court. Right. More importantly, this is a way for me to end the game. Because right. sometimes if I didn't start, it didn't matter to me at that point in my career. But I wanted to be in the game at the end when it mattered. And I knew that. So I already evaluated who's what and who's where. Same thing with Rondo. Yeah, of course. Rondo's like, listen, my thing is, I know what the Lakers are about. And I know Rondo. But i got a great opportunity. And I know what LeBron needs. He needs somebody to take the pressure off of him. He needs somebody high IQ to run the team. I'm perfect for that. I'm perfect. If, I, if I'm Rondo, I'm looking at it from that perspective. Run a, run a team in the playoff. Run a team in the NBA Finals, Skip Bayless. Hey. Lando is a <laughs> yeah. point guard. Yeah, he he could, play. Uh, there are times I thought he was top one point guard, yeah. except he doesn't shoot it that well over time in regular season. But in the postseason last year, he made eight out of 19 threes and shot 42% because playoff Rondo will emerge. 
but just to be balanced on this, there have been long years when he's been pretty pathetic by his standards. I don't know if he's quit or given up. No, yeah, you no, know, they would have beat Boston had he not got hurt. Know, but but yeah. That was near the end. Because at the beginning, it was yes, Dallas. Dallas, yeah. Dallas, yeah. Dallas, where Dallas, Dallas, where he fell a hard time. They said, yeah. you know what, bro? Just go away. Yeah. yeah. We don't even want. We don't even want you in the state of Texas anymore. Just go away. I mean, he's enough. If he keeps, you know, they hear John Wall rub some people the wrong way. Rondo, come on, yeah, I, mean, I, I don't know what it is, but I think he's learned too. And Boogie fits in this too. The older you get, the more realization you know that's coming to the end. Yeah, Your attitude tends to change a little bit more, so you accept some things in your career. Whereas when you were younger, full of bravado, you're yeah. like, oh, I'm good. They 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 have to play. What they, they don't have to now. Yeah. When that phone doesn't, that you know, those calls don't come in, yeah, the reality sets in, well, your perspective totally yeah. changes. Because normally, you know, when you're young, that ball, oh, yeah, it's going it's going on. On. It's going I mean, hey, you got to have operated that ball you call. <laughs> then all of a sudden, it's like, call right now. You're taking it in with your agent. You hear anything yet? Yeah. You, did, you, got, you hear anything yet? And that, but that's so humble. Yeah. Like going through and being, see, if you were in that position before where you were always hunting to get onto a team, you're used to it. But if you've been in that all-star level position, you've been a high performer, yeah. and all of a sudden that tends to change. Oh, you you, you look at yourself yeah, in the mirror a lot of times and say, "What do I have to do?" He to say he does what he wants to appreciate it in the team and on the court. Would I be in you know, that's that's there? That's how it So is this possibly not, an anti-Lavar move to just send a message to Lavar? Hey, I, I got an alternative now. If you're going to rip my coach and try to divide my locker room by by speaking for your son publicly and blasting other teammates, which is just, I don't know how didn't do with Lonzo in the locker room. Well, LeVar is already upset about the the, uh, the substitution pattern and how they use Lonzo. He's upset that the Lakers didn't take Jello. That's true. So, the light so there's no way all three of his sons going to be on the Lakers. Nope. And Magic Johnson looks like he making moves like, look here, bro. All that, yeah, you, you know what? You need to go on somewhere else. It's undisputable. And no matter what happened, no matter if you got Chris, say you got Chris Paul in there, just say you did, LeVar still would be upset. No matter what the credentials are of that player, because right. he feels it's his he feels it's 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 it don't matter who it is. And you know, you got a viable option right here. It's undisputable in regards to what Rondo can do, but yeah. from LeVar's perspective, he still ain't better than myself. He ain't better than my boy. Yeah. Okay, so if I'm looking at it from LeBron's perspective, do I believe that LeBron has high regard for Lonzo's potential, yeah. his vision, his sport awareness, his IQ? Yes, I do. Do I think LeBron wants to go to playoff battle with Rondo? You better believe Absolutely. I do because he's gone to battle against Rondo and he's seen it from the inside out. This guy, when it's time, whew, And all those championships play. that LeBron has won. Yeah. How many young guys play major games? We go to battle with those veterans. And last year when they were down to Indiana's here, mm -hmm. they had this, this fancy lineup that T. Lee wanted to try. They tried it end up a game two, what they have? Old tried true, old reliable. LeBron James, potential is one thing. Give me the guys that's been there done that. Because mm -hmm. I know what they'll do when the rubber needs to meet the road. Mm -hmm. And the fire in that situation, I need guys I can count on. He know, he's going to battle against Rondo. Went to a game seven against Rondo. Yeah. So he, he knows what look. He does. He went to a game six against Rondo. He yeah. knows what he represents. But he, he knows how to manage, too. Think about Mario Chalmers in that aspect when he had to kind of bring him along right. a little bit. But he yeah. understood how to manage that aspect of Chalmers being in, in quality minutes. Right. He had some big shots. Yeah. But he was able to manage that. Yeah. You know, and that's the only time, really, you, you can say, Ubi Gibson. When he was at Cleveland, he did. you know yeah. what I mean. But he's figured out ways. When I got a young guy, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take so much pressure off of him mm -hmm. that he doesn't have to try to do everything to try to be successful or to see be successful. So, Lashanta Sharp, what well, I need you to explain the big picture of what my man Magic Johnson is doing. As big a fan as I am of Magic, I don't really get the direction of really the low, new Los Angeles Lakers. I certainly get LeBron James. After that, I don't really get anything. Because they signed KCP, re-signed him for $12 million. You're close to your, your pickup point, right? Yeah. yeah. That had something to do with the little okay. package deal. That's, eight, that's, that's, huh? that's six to seven less than he made last year. Okay. Now, remember, JJ Reddick made twenty. That ain't what he's making. Camera move. Was fifteen. So coming on that, look at.
I, I get up. Yeah, right now, we just trying, we're in a little holding pattern. We're trying to wait out San Antonio with Kawhi. Lance? Javale? It's like, what? But, but, I, when I don't, but when you, think about this. Yeah, they're all one year. When you do, no, here, here's the plan. You got LeBron now for know, four years. Battery's very low. Three, he can opt out. out truck, be able to plug it in. So what you're looking at, okay, who can we get this year to be competitive? Okay, 2019. 2019, Jimmy Butler is out there. Okay, you got Clay Thompson's out there. Woo! But yes, out there. So now KD that. out there. Okay, so we're I got that. So we're building. What we want to do is be competitive now, but put ourselves in a position. We don't get Kawhi now. Okay. Well, you can get him for free next year. You don't have to give up right, anything. Exactly. Okay. But you, got, but you got to free up cap space. Okay. So does you know? that mean that LeBron, who's now vacationing in Italy, yeah, the red, should yeah. just stay in Italy for the whole year and just take the year? Had I, had I I'm known serious. Him. Just save the wear and tear. Yeah. Had I known. I mean, do you, do you realize you, 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 you're laughing at me for predicting the eight seed, but I'm looking at know, barely yeah. the eight seed. First of all, Skip Baby, had I known LeBron was going to make a decision so quick, I would have taken my break. My vacation time this week. Mm -hmm. I'd have been in there and driving off a cliff. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Did you mean they ran every yacht except Magic's done this before for seven hundred grand a week? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Seven hundred. Yeah. You don't did that? It's a big yacht. It's what? a big yacht. It's a big yacht. A week? Yeah. No, nah, hey, nah, bro. You need to give me that thing for the year. <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, you need to give me that for five years. When you go to the south of France, I was fortunate. I was there one time. It was a boat show, and they. they the vessels, that's what I'm calling them. The vessels yeah. that were coming into the harbor, mm -hmm. I get it. I get how they spend that money. I'm not, but I get how they are. I want to be an invited guest. Mm -hmm. Invite hey. me. Hey, <laughs> you know you know what boats stand for, Skip? Bust out another thousand. Because if you own one, money gold. That's a bottomless pit. Yeah, I, I think... Thousand doesn't work. I think you bust out another million. Yeah, a bone. Yeah, yeah. Why is sitting in the water? You paying for it? Yeah. Why is this sitting there? You paying? Yeah, for that, it? That, that's the whole thing. So it's always good to have a great friend that got a plane and a boat. Mm. Let them worry. The, the Boston, the uh, 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 Boston Whaler, the one with the Everett, does that count like a, a bass fishing boat? Yep. I got one of those. That's <laughs> not count. Holly, you realize that's what just that's happened? That's what? a boat. They tried He's to, a both vessel, of these man. gentlemen just tried to change the subject off. Oh, what? Can, can the Lakers even be the eighth seed by making we jokes about We already addressed that. that. We already addressed that. Yeah. Oh. You, so you tell me Denver is going to be better than the Lakers? Yeah, Boy, right now on paper they stop. are. Kevin Durant was a better player than LeBron James. Considering that Steph Curry had two games of over 30 points in that oh. those four games. Did you see game three? Closer. Did you see game two? Did you see game four? Mm -hmm. Closer. But the Lakers, they, they definitely make the playoffs, I think, for the most part. They got they added a lot of Lakers right, right goes good since as far as my first guys commercial. Guys been there, I've had a commercial ride since you know, guys well, the when I got dropped off in Savannah, Georgia, and I left my jet pack in the truck. In order to be where, you know, where they like to They can win right now, it's going to be entertaining. Nice guy, but they're not going to talk to you on, like, it's hard to talk over. What do you got? Seven? They seem to enjoy it. I said seven. I don't listen to this talk radio. I said eight. What's the big deal? Third. Third? Could be higher. Why third? I thought you said second yesterday. Did you sleep on it and come to your senses? You, uh, I mean, I don't know why all of a sudden, I mean, I don't know who OKC got all of a sudden now. They're going to move up from the pussy. They got him back. They got Paul George. Were they there last year? Yeah. Okay. 
how they do. They lost their defensive side. The well, first of all, Robinson need to be swapped out for stats. So okay. we gonna swap Bill out for OKC. So we gonna swap Bill out. Are, are they listening? Say it again. Put you in the back. We gonna swap out Robinson to OKC. We gonna put stacks in there. But y'all not gonna be Lakers. I mean, <laughs> third skip. Now look, we still don't know what Ooh, you have second. Let me finish, Skip. We still don't know how to. I believe the Rockets take a step back. Now they can take a big step, but they already lost the reason. Now they lose Capella. That's an even bigger step. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. We, the Warriors are going to be the Warriors. The Warriors are going to be the number one seed, I believe, regardless of whatever you did. Like the prohibited favorite, yes, right? Yes, they are the prohibited favorite. Mm -hmm. Now you got to probably bet like $5,000 to win, or 150 bucks betting on the Warriors to win the title. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe Portland will be better than, I don't believe Portland, Denver, Utah, I don't believe either one of those teams, three teams, will be better than the Lakers. Mm -hmm. So, that's the right now. I'm just, that's the right now. So, that's the right now. So, I'm trying to figure out again. I'm the biggest Magic Johnson fan, and you keep saying he's got a no look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we've seen it yet. I believe it. I, I got to see it to believe yeah. it because I haven't seen it yet. I see misfits. I see. Two plus two plus two don't be cool, six or eight or ten. I, I don't get what he's doing. Like, wait a minute, Rondo? I still don't get the Rondo move. I don't know. Unless Lonzo is about to be an ex Laker in a big bombshell trade, if it's Lonzo and Kuzma and Brandon Ingram for Kawhi Leonard, I would get that. And I would do that. Now stop, you see, stop trying to put Magic Johnson has made it abundantly clear. Kuzma is off the table. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's the problem right now. That's that ain't no problem. They have Kawhi Leonard. Exactly. So is Kuzma yeah. that valuable? He's yes. more valuable than Kawhi Leonard? I tell you what, Danny Ainge, uh -oh. Danny Ainge hung the phone up when they talk about Jason Tatum. Okay. Kuzma I know. About Jason Tatum. No, but Kawhi Leonard has made it clear he wants to be in LA. He doesn't yeah. want to be in Boston or Philadelphia. So we have to have a way to out. Now we trying to we are trying to offer at least we trying to offer you something. We're not trying to rob you, see, uh, uh, San Antonio. Yeah. We are gonna give you Brandon Ingram. We'll give you Lonzo Ball. You want Josh Hart? We'll give you him, and we'll give you one of and give you a pick. So, so how do you build a team around LeBron James? What does he do best of all? The best thing he does is pass the basketball. And the best part of his passing game is that he can see over the defense for three-point snipers. I've never seen anything like it. He can just fire it all, you know, as they call them, skip passes. Yeah. Not named after me, but, but it, it was, <laughs> where he skips it all the way across court over everybody's head to an open three-point sniper. And his snipers are now Lance Stevenson, who shot 29% from three last year, or Rondo, who gets hot in the playoffs, but he's 31% three-point shooter. Help me out. Obviously, Lonzo struggled last year. He shot 41% at UCLA, but he did not shoot the ball. Do well. you think Magic Johnson is a basketball genius? Yeah. They say a genius sees something no one else sees and gets his target. Yeah. So I trust Magic. Okay. But how many times have we seen great players not be great general managers? Because the greatest player in the history of any sport is now the worst general manager in all of basketball. Because I think Michael Jordan has basketball genius about him, and he continues to put out the worst product continuously in the NBA. Well, here's the thing. Magic is really not great. No, uh, LeBron is already ready-made. Kawhi will be ready-made. Clay will be ready-made. KD will be ready-made. Hey, we're talking but, this year. Yeah. Right here. We got, some, we got something to, we got something to work. First of all, Stan, you never get equal value for a superstar. Right. So no matter what they give up. So unless unless Kuzma and Ingram turn into defensive player of the year, then final MVP, whomever get Kawhi was gonna or whatever you trade for him, unless that gets the player you trade, one of them or a, 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 a compilation of them turn into that, mm -hmm. you lose that trade. How do you get equal value for Kawhi? The guy's been a Finals MVP. He's been twice Defensive Player of the Year. He's been twice a uh, First Team All NBA. Mm -hmm. So how do you get that value? Leverage, necessity. Yeah, LA needs him but badly. Even right if, right now, even if they give like that up, unless Kuzma, unless Ingram, unless Lonzo turn into that, the Lakers still would have won the trade because they get that in the player that's only going to be. Okay. okay. Yeah, sure. Wherever you can say pull over, I'll just get up and continue on. No, you don't want to go back up that way. No. No, do not. I don't think so. Yeah, it's a truck stop right there. Okay.
Nine times out of ten, you're going to find somebody going up your way. Okay. <laughs> you tell me you're doing a documentary. You know, these guys ain't too bad around here. Hey, man, I'm going to be here, man. Yeah, I'm going yeah, he definitely did. You mind if we uh, take a really quick picture? Sure, man, go ahead, man. Right. You keep telling me, he's a two-time defense. Yeah. Is he not? Yeah. You, the best two-way player in the world. Come on. All right, man. Right, right, thank you. It. It'll just take me two seconds. You gotta get my bag and then. Uh,
stop at that we'll see what we can uh, bag us up. Pennsylvania to this yet we hit Pennsylvania which is our 33rd state. 17 to go. Okay. No more sports please. Yeah I've had enough sports for today too. I do apologize for the uh, like not talking that much. We talked at the start but he kind of just had his talk radio stuff on that was on pretty loud and he seemed pretty interested in it. He just kind of giggling away to himself on that. I didn't feel like talking over it so I didn't, we didn't have a super in-depth conversation when we got going. Um, so sorry for that. How many times have the cops been called? The, the thing is, when a cop stops for me, they don't tell, always tell me that people have called it in. I've had one time where I was hitchhiking at a gas station where someone called the cops on me and the cops came and they're like, yeah, you, what you're doing is fine. Uh, just when we receive a complaint, we have to check it out. So. How's the gig going so far? Really good. Um, had a nice place to camp out last night. A good morning this morning at the walk. Bought a flower, went to McDonald's, had some McGriddles, iced coffee, and then uh, figured out my insurance stuff, figured out my credit card stuff. So that was all sorted. Then we got a ride pretty quickly. What was the wait time on that truck? Probably 20 something minutes. Or am I somewhere in Pennsylvania? Near Scranton? Wendy's as well. What's his name again? Honestly, I forgot off the top of my head and I feel bad for that. Uh, it would be in the VOD though. Hopefully it's in the VOD. Which I did. We didn't introduce ourselves at the beginning. Thirty-two minutes from you, Baron. There you go. I'll have to look at it. I'm gonna stop somewhere and get a, sit down and get a drink. Maybe at the Wendy's up here or something. It's a truck stop as well. I think, yeah, they make it very difficult to hitchhike. Uh, well, it'd be like illegal to hitchhike traditionally there, so I'm not gonna try and hitchhike through them. With that said, I hitchhiked through Delaware, New Jersey, but I didn't actually hitchhike in Delaware, New Jersey. I got picked up in Maryland, and the person drove me through both Delaware and New Jersey, so I never had to actually hitchhike. So I didn't do anything against the laws, because once I'm in the car, I'm no longer a hitchhiker, I'm just a passenger. Burger King. How do I cross this road though? Oh, this jaywalk? Probably. It's probably my best option actually. They, they have developed things for pedestrians. And in a place like this, I kind of don't blame them. It's clearly not a place that people just walk around casually all the time. Only 32 hours from you. So close, I can almost smell you. Yeah, 
I try to do all my rides, um, like real hitchhiking, I, not from the community. I love meeting people that watch this stream, something that I think is really cool to meet someone that I see from, uh, like, like you, you, you turn the, the Twitch screen name into a, a real face, a real person, uh, humanizes it, which is cool. Uh, but I do want this to be at its core hitchhiking. Uh, we call viewer rides Twitch hiking, which is not what this channel, this trip is currently about. I would love to do a trip that focuses on, on that exact thing, uh, viewers picking me up. But that is not this trip. Did probably say what's up. They just stop by, say what's up, and be like, oh, I see ya. What's up? Bye. That's a lot of fancy equipment you got there. Yeah, I run a live stream. What's that for? So I'm from Canada, I hitchhike and I, sh I, I document it all, uh, yes. video documents. So I've hitchhiked through 33 states now and I just show it. There's a hurricane coming from Florida. Uh, a hurricane? Yeah, it's going to be, check that information out. Yeah, I'll check it out for sure. Thanks, man. I thought hurricane season was over. Pennsylvania get hurricanes? Yeah, correct. No, I know okay. it's hurricane season. What is that from? What did I just say? I know I was going to say hurricane in Pennsylvania, it's inland. What do they have? You got sweet tea? getting a drink and figuring out where I am and where I need to go. It's not supposed to touch line. Well, that's nice. Wait, dude, I see a thing that says iced tea, and there's two different containers of iced tea. Usually, one's sweet and one's unsweet. Also, I was in. Where was I yesterday? At that truck stop, someone ordered sweet tea. Hey. Uh, I'll grab it here. I just want a, like, a small fountain drink or I'm going to get iced tea. Sure, yeah. Okay. Sure, yeah. Okay.
It's a Twitch live stream channel. I'll give you a little turn. By far the, the largest, like okay. anything like that service. Laura Craig? Really? You're in Scranton, then we got Baron, which is like right here. Charge everything at restaurants. I've got about three days where I usually don't have, I don't have to plug in for three days, but usually I get more like quicker charging at restaurants. Like I can use Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 through this little this little thing here. So I'll charge things up a little bit quicker. It's the benefit. Say hi. You can come and say hi. Uh, and that. 
Stop bragging. What am I bragging about? About my cable management? Am I bragging about how nice my cables are? Scott, and you're 20 minutes outside Scranton. Everyone's here. We should just we should just stop hitchhiking today and just have a big Scranton meetup. <laughs> Let's meet up in North Shore. <laughs> I want to get you close to West Virginia, headed to Tennessee. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the route I want to take. Uh, that can change based off of who picks me up and where they're going. So I'll, I'll figure out a general route I'd like to take. So right now, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, which is fairly normal for me. There has to be a certain amount of planning. I can't just like start walking down. Well, I can. I can just start walking down the road and see what happens. Um, but if I actually want to go through all 50 states, it does make sense to actually kind of like pick a road rather than just walking in that direction. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna take 81. Down. Okay. into Maryland and then into uh, well, I could I could link it around through into West Virginia. So I could go like pretty straight east in the direction of Pittsburgh and then south into West Virginia or kinda go south um, west through Maryland into West Virginia that way. Uh, that would be my two options it looks like. I'm kind of lonely with that Emily I still got you guys with me. Baron, talk to your friend who's still in the area for gonna sit up there for to say what's up. Yeah, sure. I'm down. city itself. Uh, I'd rather bypass and go south from there. So, yeah, if I want to go straight west, I could take, what's that, I-80 uh, west, or go down through Harrisburg and take the uh, what's that, 76 west. 76 goes through a lot more places, 80 seems a bit more spread out. I-81 falls the wish path down the Appalachian Mountains, nice views, that does sound quite nice. Alright, 81 through Harrisburg, 81 southwest in Maryland. It does look like, yeah, it goes through George Washington, Jeff Jefferson National Forest, are kind of near it through it ish. Um, and then at some point I'll split off. Take the 64 direction Charles in West Virginia. That sounds like a nice route. What do you guys think? Are we considering hitchhiking with a pet? Uh, I don't think so. I don't want to be responsible for a pet. 
At this point in my life. Maybe another time, but not right now. Or it's Emily Canada. Uh, is New York one of your favorite places in New York? Um, I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite states or my favorite state. Mm -hmm. I thought I've kind of grouped up like the forested regions of the Northeast together a little bit. You know, like your Vermont, New Hampshire, and, and Maine kind of like together because I really like the inland part there, kind of like going through the hills and the mountains. That was really beautiful. And you kind of get that here in New York as well. I'm consi I called it upstate New York. Different people call different things upstate versus not upstate. Um, like, you're not in upstate. I don't care. It's not New York City. And maybe that's wrong, but it feels like you're upstate. There's a lot of ones. Do you know which one uh, you're in? If you want to whisper me, I can let you know. Because uh, I'm actually in, in Pittston. I'm not in Stranger, I'm just south. Sweet tea. No, it's a, it's a blend of sweet and unsweet tea. I met what's meant for what? Hello. This hands ready to eat for everyone. What time are we at? It's 1.40. Like hopefully I'd get a ride by 4, but you never know. Actually, is our title updated? I can't tell. It just still tells me the title that I had for this morning. Martial arts, not particularly, no. Anyone who score back down, anyone knocks will tend to see the uh, That's kind of what I was looking at. Um, right? 81 64. 64 is down in uh, Maryland, correct? Or is that 67? No, 64, yeah. 64 into West Virginia. Knoxville. Then back to South and Knoxville, Tennessee, up into Lexington, then to Cincinnati. Um, you can do that. The other thing I have to look at is. I do have to hit Ohio, and also I have to get, um, I have to hit Michigan, uh, but I'll be coming up and like, logically it makes sense to kind of go up through Illinois into Wisconsin, uh, but uh, I have to hit Michigan. I could go way up north and through Wisconsin and then hit the northern part of Michigan, but I don't think I want to do that. Maybe if I go up into Michigan, up past Grand Rapids, I can take a ferry across Lake Michigan. Anyway, yeah, this is long, this is several days in the future, but... Would you consider yourself very good at geography? Not, like, I'm decent once I've been to a place. Um, but if I haven't been somewhere, I'm not the best. And that's the S in Illinois. I know, I, as, once I said that, I knew someone was going to say that. I'm sorry. 
Because I think I was looking at it the other day and I'm like, maybe I'll just go straight west past Pittsburgh into Ohio, uh, hit, hit the 77, then down south into West Virginia, uh, and south continuing to Knoxville, and then back up Lexington, and then Indiana, Michigan, ferry to Illinois. Oh, wait, no, that's, that, that, would, that would be ferry to Wisconsin. I'd, I'd skip Illinois. But it takes me to Wisconsin, I think, and I would have missed Illinois at that point. It's okay to skip Illinois. If I went to 49 states, except for Illinois, that be like, why didn't you go to Illinois? Because there's nothing there. Right? That would be like the biggest FU to that state. I went to all other states, including like Nebraska, where there's nothing there. Like Illinois, no. say you can't hitchhike on an airplane, uh, or you can't hitchhike to Hawaii on an airplane, please note that I have hitchhiked on five airplanes, uh, just hitchhiking 2,500 miles to Hawaii from the west coast is more difficult than the ones I've done before, uh, I, I know it's possible, it's just going to be more difficult. You can't hitchhike in five states though, correct, correct but I will uh, travel through them in whatever means necessary. speculating I'm doing right now is kind of irrelevant. Uh, Alright, if I was going to make a sign, what would I make for a sign? What would I make for a sign? What do we got? Harrisburg? Would people understand Hburg? Yes, it's a, a windscreen. The, the, uh, the common vernacular for it is a dead cat. Let's go with the float. That's what I'm gonna do. But I'm in a kind of in a junction of interstates, and I need to figure out which one I want to go down. That's the bare minimum. Do much. 
and that's great, and I love that. I don't know why, though. <laughs> but thank you. That does make me feel good. Because uh, I do feel bad when I'm just, like, sitting, not doing too much. I'm like, I want to be doing interesting things for you guys. Sometimes that just doesn't happen. Shower is now ready. Please proceed to shower two. Do, 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 do. 81 sign that could pass the Harris Burger to go that way. Yeah, that'll probably make sense. How many subs you got? We're in the 450 ish range. Do you want to do some of your game planning right now? Yeah. I suppose I am, aren't I? Not you think? Looks like there's no real on ramp right next to here to the 81. It's actually quite a bit down the road. But it's not a good on ramp, it's uh, kind of strange. It's also under construction. Which, uh, it means it could look different. That was the rest of the ride with the really nice truck driver only the first few minutes. Uh, it was good, it was fairly quiet. He listened to his sports talk radio for the most of the time. And I didn't feel like talking over that. Uh, so mostly we, you guys got to listen to basketball talk radio. Met any weird truck drivers? I did have one weird truck driver. He wasn't too bad, but he's still kind of weird. Um, I made the mistake of showing him a picture of my girlfriend. Because <laughs> I had a girlfriend at the time. Nothing, nothing bold, like nothing like crazy. But I did show him a picture of my girlfriend. And he might have wanted to see that more times than I thought was necessary. <laughs> See any airport signs? There's a airport here, but when I saw it, it said International Airport. He was a real life Twitch guy. Oh no. Yeah. Five of those today. I'm figuring out how I want to get south out of here. And then we're going south out of here, down the 81. gotten married hitchhiking three times we've talked about this only three murders the Boca airport let me see see if it's someone again anyways. I don't know, you just ask. And then I'm like, okay. It's not even like sexual. Yeah, the airport that's coming up for me is the Wilkes Bar slash Scranton International Airport which is more airport than uh, I can really use. It's, it's too much. It's too big. Where's the most that's annoying ride you got? I find driving like 
irregular, like, poor driving is the most annoying thing for me. So, like, I had one person in, in Sweden, it was the strangest mix of people. The guy who was driving was from, oh, what was the mix? One guy was from Africa, one guy was from the Middle East, and one guy was from, from Sweden. It was, it was a very strange bunch of guys. But the one guy just purchased a car, but he just was so distracted. He, he bought a new car, and he would go like 180. We're in kilometers an hour, because in everywhere else in the world you know, uses kilometers an hour, except for a few places. Um, and then get distracted, telling his friends to like, take his foot off the wheel in the left lane and like slow down, slow down to like 50 kilometers an hour and everyone that he just passed going 180 would then be passing him like on the right lane like, going normal speeds and then he'd be like, oh yeah, I'm going slow now and then he'd just pick back up, go like 180 again down the road and then do the same thing, distracted, talking, good, 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 good. foot off the wheel, slow back down to like 50. Yeah. Are you uh, 84 slash 380? I'm uh... I am really close to that airport though. I just don't think it would work. It's more than just bad driving. I know, I just, that's a very noteworthy example in my mind. Ah. Uh, E3, Volt. Like 81, 315. Oh, like. The 81 and 476 kind of follow parallel right here. Got to get a horse and buy you ride still? That's true. If I just skip through Pennsylvania, then I might miss it. Where is it? The Strasburg comes by, is it Amish town if you want to see lots of Amish? Where is that? Are you stuck in New York? I'm not. I'm in Pennsylvania now. If it says I'm still in New York, it needs to be uh, updated. Oh, it's down south. Where's... what's near there? Not very much. In theory, I'd be going around Harrisburg, which is, seems to be 40 miles west of Strasbourg. Mike, thanks for the 100 bits. Appreciate it, my friend. And now it's Mike. Take us to Sick Flags. Um, I don't think they'd let, would they let me stream that? Disneyland doesn't even let you have a selfie stick. I feel like they'd look at my setup and my backpack and be like, nope. Those are Scranton, State College, Cumberland. Oh, State College, where's that? This should be plugged in, definitely. Kyle, I might cheat on you, sorry, I feel like watching a movie. This isn't a movie? It's very two hours? Okay. State College. Okay. Cumberland, Maryland. Cumberland. Tickets 
take a little bit of snaggling to pull that. You'll still be watching your phone. <laughs> oh, okay. My boy wearing long sleeves, never seems to understand loose layers in the heat. Yeah. But that's it, it's not the loosest of layers, but um, yeah, it keeps the sun off you. Picturing a horse blanket, I would love to. I don't know if they'd be okay with the the camera though. But I wanted to try. But with that said, I have to get off interstate for that. Um, so I have to make a decision of whether I want to take things slow or try to hitchhike on a horse and buggy. Uh, through smaller towns that have higher Amish populations. Or just make distance up and try to get this trip in the bag. And I'm getting scruffy. YouTube and unlock, I would love to unlock that achievement. It's been a good trip for achievements wise. Like my biggest dream when hitchhiking on another trip was one day I'd like to hitchhike on an airplane. We got to get that checked off five times. I saw an Elmish family in Burger King, they all had tablets. I guess you can't generalize anyone, but like, it makes sense. You can't take a whole demographic of people or like uh, subculture of people and just be like, this is the way they're like. Hmm. I think for now I'm just going to make an 81 sign and go south. I still don't know where I'm going to be hitching. Tired of asking. Like I haven't done it for a little bit, but I just don't enjoy asking people at gas stations. I prefer to just do it traditionally. If I'm on the road, sign out. That's what I like. Sometimes there's just not a good spot to do it. turn onto the on ramp and go, that's that's what you're looking for. This one is like you're driving down the road and you kind of just merge on and then it does a big like 360 degree like loop thing. Because you can drive underneath the highway, loop around and then you're on the interstate. So people are going normal road speed and then they never have to stop, they just kind of do a, a big circle and then they're on the highway. Um, so speed wise, it's not the best. Vision wise, it's not the best because they're in the process of turning around. Shoulder-wise, it looks okay-ish. I have to be cognizant of trucks cutting that corner a little bit because, um, like, they'll just, if they, they turn, like, right in the lane, like, their trailer will, will cut in. Um, I could try it. The 
you see a truck stop? Yeah, there's kind of one here. These <laughs> five star hotel only. I think it'd be good for me to sleep, spend tonight in a tent too. It'd be two nights in a tent in a row. Like I've, I've been living up a little bit too nicely. I need to get back into the the rougher lifestyle. Right on, Baron. I think that unwrap will still, will still uh, work just fine. That's whack, yo. What's whack? Drewby Ficus. How goes it today? It goes good. We're one ride in today. And it was a pretty good, good ride. And then we're about to head out. I'm just finishing this drink and then we're going. How long are you going to be here? I've got like just a little bit left of this that I'm heading out. that much charge here but I don't feel like sitting around waiting for a good charge. I've got enough batteries for it to be today and tomorrow I think so. At least a hard day tomorrow. Hey Murphy. Your day is great. My day actually is going great. It's really good. Uh, actually, no, I wanted to make an 81 sign. That's what I need to do, actually. Do I need anything for the road? I'm near it. I don't, but I do really appreciate that offer. Hard work. Fun for the day. Catch a ride on the 81 South. I think it's not like Southwest, but South. You want to see a Trevor Fish and Ease catch? I need a license. I need a fishing rod. I need uh, cooking equipment. Like basic, I don't need a much. Just cooking equipment. I heard Twitch doesn't like you killing animals. A fish is an animal. I don't know how to feel about filleting a fish either. No, I probably wouldn't fillet it. I would just probably gut it and then just place it. Anyway, um, there be things I need to look at. You get all that at the Walmart across. Yeah, this Walmart right here. So that's true. One, don't get caught. One, live streaming is getting caught the whole time. You're, you're live streaming yourself doing something illegal. Two, use a stick with some string. I need a hook still. I want an open fire. Like, you, you can rustic cook and I just put it, drape it over a stick. Like, I can do that. The biggest thing would be, in this case, the legality. I can't live stream myself doing something illegal. And people don't seem to understand that. Like, there's, there's some things that, like, objectively don't make that much sense about the rules and how they enforce them, but it's really not that complicated for the most part. If you scream yourself doing something illegal, there's a good chance they're going to ban you. Um, 
I feel like that makes sense. Permission from the land over. Do you light a fire without matches and a lighter? Why do you need matches and a lighter? Pick one. Um, no, I don't think I could. I've never practiced it before. They wouldn't have known it was illegal if they didn't know whether you had a license or not. It's true. It's true. But like, it is my intention to do everything as much by the books as I can. Hitchhikers have a bad reputation, and I'm trying to make everything as... clean as possible. Like the matches will light If you're gonna do it like that, you can just light a stick on fire. You feel on the playlist? This is, reminds me of middle school dances. Reminds me of being like 13, 14. Full of hormones. to Toronto, not right now. If I go over the structure, and I'll get you a ride. When you, you'll get me a ride? How are you going to get me a ride? You know, you're just messing around. Respect that, actually. Well, thank you. Look nice. 
Irish Mayhem, thank you for the $5 donation. You can show catching and cooking, the, cooking fish, just not cutting it. Okay. Is that from, like, uh, other streamers? Like, they've kind of established what, what's okay? Ask what you want to help me ask for, right? Exactly what do you want to do, Laura Craig? Before we, I agree. Yeah, I'm near an airport. Alec Ledford got in trouble? Yeah, didn't Alec Ledford get in trouble for dropping a fish? Professional hair Is 
see what that says. See what that says. Yes. It's just interstates in Pennsylvania. It's a turnpike. So I just have to stay, if I'm doing, if I'm hitchhiking on the interstate, um, I have to catch the ride before it's the interstate. I don't want to do this again. A struggle of eight.
stay here then maybe but it's not I gotta keep moving there's a little bit of trip there I'd be able to go what? someone is coming I but I don't want a twitch hike arrive No, it's a checking trip. So if the cops give me a hard time, then I'll just have to come back here and, uh, and talk to people. Should I go to the casino in Wilkes Bar then? Uh, they won't let me in. That backpack? I've already tried to go into the casino once on this trip. They want nothing to do with me. Thank you. 
Would you let me in with the big backpack? has a, a wrapper. I'm confused. That's strange. You can take it to the wrapper and there's still a wrapper. Has everything been since New Hampshire? It's really good. I mean, I'm gonna try Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and then kind of back through that 18 mile stretch <coughs> between Maine and uh, Massachusetts on the way to Boston. And we had a good time. We had a really good time. Thank Pete and Amy for these as well. This is what Pete and Amy gave me. So, well, I should say thank you. So it's Hampton Beach. Is that the stretch, the 18 mile stretch? We, we took the interstate, so we didn't really see it beach. Yeah. 
turkey raised with no antibiotics, no added hormone, vegetarian, fed, gluten free. I'm not very picky. So even if the food wasn't like that well prepared, I'm still like. Mm. Isn't that salty? Yeah, that's cured meat. It's gonna be salty. That's how they preserve it. Has Vinny Vegas appeared yet? I have not seen him. a few states pretty quickly here. places I'm going to miss. That's the reality of the trip. I'd be doing this trip for years if I was going to everywhere worth seeing. Familiarity of people that are familiar. 
familiar places and people, it makes you feel comfortable. So sometimes I miss that, but realistically, I don't get too homesick. considered upstate New York today, uh, pretty rural areas, um, through like Middletown, something like that, I don't know. Um, Out, out of New York, so I won't be back in. I shouldn't be back in. Backpack weight uh, between 50 and 60 pounds because of batteries. Uh, it depends how much food and water I'm carrying. Maybe I'll buy Snickers too. I think I'll buy Snickers. I haven't had one in a while. Must be pretty. Uh, they get used to what you put them through. I don't have bulky legs. Like if anything, they go towards like the the thin, skinny like biker legs. Like not big volume, but like skinny. Uh, whoa! They're out of regular Snickers. They've got hazelnuts. 
almond one. They're out of regular Snickers. Oh no. Anything interesting in uh, Pennsylvania? I haven't really. I think I took, my last ride drove me from New York to Pennsylvania. Thank you for stopping at Pilot. Oh wait, no, they're there. King candy. I still have not seen. The, they released new types of Snickers, but I've not seen them in any store. I think they like an espresso one, and then like a another one. Maybe even another one. And I didn't see extreme Snickers either. They've got the double one. I kind of just wanted the single one because I don't feel like eating both right now. But maybe I'll just get it down. Hi. I'll just eat this inside. I'm like, no. No, I'll eat it on the walk. I got a bit of a walk. Let's just eat it on the way. I haven't done enough sitting today. Angeles, Washington State. Where am I going? All 50 states. I've done 33 so far. Alaska as well, yeah. And Hawaii. Been to Virginia yet? Yeah. Get the whole eastern seaboard. Exotic cars. 
California Todd picked me up. The guy that got me out of hitchhike on airplanes. He was gonna give me a ride in his Ferrari. But his brother had the keys. So we couldn't ride the car without the car keys, so. Waiting on the tandem? Yeah, that would be fun. Don't know if that's gonna happen, but it would be fun. Where are you now? Near Scranton, right? Scranton, Pennsylvania? Here. It's very difficult to cross out there. I need to hold up my sign. I'm walking the wrong way. And then like I'm walking facing traffic. I can't catch that. calories right there. Perfect. Cured me. One of the benefits is it's really calorie dense. It's a lot of energy in a small, lightish weight package.
without the breeze it'll be uh, pretty hot to walk with the breeze it, it's still warm but it's not like too bad it seems kind of lonely you're doing 50 states by yourself i'm not though i've been picked up 173 times and i have 375 people with me right now Very much not alone. Sounding like you alone technically. Yeah, but you're saying that you feel bad for me because I'm I'm alone. Yes, technically, physically, right now, I am walking by myself. There's no humans physically walking here with me. But, I'm getting picked up by people every single day that I'm hitchhiking. And I have people talking to me through Twitch all the time. So, am I really alone? That's up to interpretation, but I'm going to say I'm not. Three states with Emily, though, right? Yeah, Emily hitchhiked with me through Vermont, New Hampshire... Who are you? Pull, pull over up there. Someone just drove past me. It's a Trevor. Like, you could have stopped and I could have said hi. We did a, a drive-by. Drive-by, Trevor! Is the electric guy? Oh. Oh, like, they're right here. Safe place to pull over. Just stop and said hi. Yeah, I know. Like, I, I wasn't expecting a ride, but if you, if you know my name and drive past, you clearly know who I am. I wouldn't mind being like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> what you up to? Looks like interstate. That's interstate, but that's north. I'm going south, which is up here. It was the storage facility guy. Oh, no. Now they would have showed traffic, so. <laughs> Yeah, there's a few people that said they're nearby. And, and like, that's cool to stop by and say hi. I just thought you'd actually stop by. Now give me a drive-by. <laughs> Trevor! Awkward little section up here. Okay. I got a fine shoulder here. But right at this point right here, where this merge lane is about to go over, I've got, for just a few feet, no shoulder. There's an Arby's in case I get hungry. Trevor. I'll give it a shoulder check before I do the, the narrowest part. Oh, Alright, we're fine. There's a car coming, but we should be fine. Oh yeah, we're fine. Sell sweet tea nearby. I just had one at Wendy's. Oh, and a McDonald's too. Man, they've got everything a hitchhiker could ever need. McDonald's has good sweet tea. 
get a rugged case for that one plus six. That would probably make it overheat. Like, if this one's doing so much better with the heat, but if you put a case on it, that, that stops the air circulation, really. Shoulder check, it sounded weird because I wasn't facing the mic. Sounded like someone else. Yeah. Someone was leaking like a thing that like, it's like a battery pack. It's also like a cooler thing. I don't know. I have to look at it. So far this one's done really well. It's got like eight gigabytes of RAM. So like running the live stream doesn't actually work the phone that hard, so it shouldn't heat up too much. It's on, should be working. I don't understand why it wouldn't be working. But you guys say it isn't working then. Yeah, it's windy. Because the last microphone we had, the dead cat seemed to work quite well. And I haven't had heard any complaints until recently. But today if you open that saying they can hear the wind. Where, where is this? Yeah. Yeah, not just to I'm in Pennsylvania. You can't hear me because of wind noise? Actually, not hear me. Oh, there it is. Yeah, lots of services around if I, I don't get a ride quickly. You drove by too much traffic to stop, well. I guess, yeah. You kind of slowed down and people didn't like that. But there was wide shoulders up ahead that you could have stopped at. Drive by, hello. Like it's on all the way. I could look at it. How are you lost now? Like, meh, wind. Meh. 
win. Pennsylvania. It's coming directly from behind you, so maybe it's just getting in behind the, the dead cat. Maybe I have to look at it. Maybe it's... I don't know. Check the speed on. No, I turned it off. When I have my last ride, I can turn it on for right now. Are we going to Philly now? Well, not most likely not. Strap twisted? No? South Carolina? South Carolina what? Discord. Welcome to the Discord channel. Blue Eyes. Are you going there? I've already been there. I've been to 33 states. That's one of them. See about grog. Let's see what we got for on ramp up here. Probably not an idea. But we will see. curious what's up here. Hi Archie Bradley.
could have even camped up here. <laughs> that ain't funny. Oh, okay. Just a random little view of the, <laughs> the I-84. All right. We'll have to walk back down there now. Looks pretty sketchy to walk along though. Sucks. There were Silent Hills based off. That's cool. Maybe I should go there. Camp out there. Yes, there is New York State and New York City. New York City's in New York State, but there's a whole lot more to New York. don't make this very passable by by foot. There's a lot of stray dogs in, in Russia. Um, but they left me alone. I never carried any good food on me. That's what they want. It's good food. They don't want to eat a person. And they'll get territorial, to, territorial if there's good food around in your, like in your area. But they're uh, pretty food motivated. We're good now. Shoulder's a lot wider now. I get to be on the soft shoulder rather than the hard shoulder with not much of it. Gatorade bottle. We have chew, chewing tobacco. Yeah. Let's see what we got for on ramp here. state right here. So I won't be able to catch a truck here. Safely, really stop. That's okay. I rarely get trucks anyway. 
it was kind of a a surprise that the last guy that picked me up was a truck driver. That's the ramp you take home from work. So you know this ramp pretty intimately. Looks like there's plenty of room to pull over. And people take it pretty slow. Right, let's go down a little bit. Line of sight isn't that great. That's fine. Oh, there's a post up here. Let's see what we got. I don't feel like walking past that sign. It says, it doesn't, there's no like sign that says no pedestrians or anything. It says, SR blah 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 250 begin ramp. I feel like once it says begin ramp, then they can be like, you know it's not supposed to be there. But yeah, it is a nice shoulder. Look at that. Wow. Get you guys out of the way in case someone cuts in a little bit short. Maybe I should just stand up here a little bit more so people coming in can see me. Yeah, like right here. Yeah, you guys over here. Get you guys safe. Otherwise, one and a half hours? Yeah. 
thanks for the optimism. How's it going? I don't mind the mess. Don't mind the mess? I don't mind the mess at all. Whereabouts are you headed to? Um, down the street, but... oh, uh, Sorry, I'm just from Canada. I don't know the area too well. I'm just going down the 81 for a while. How far is that miles-wise, do you know? 10 miles. Is there another like on-ramp there that's decent? Yeah. All right. Now, I do have this little camera thing here. It doesn't have to be on you, but I'm documenting the process of hitchhiking. Is that something you're comfortable having in your vehicle? I suppose. You suppose? It doesn't have to be on you. It's just... Yeah, yeah it's fine. <laughs> Uh, bag in the back seat? Yeah, alright. Okay, uh, uh, okay on top. Thank you for grabbing me, I appreciate that. You're What's your name? Tawny. Tawny? I'm Trevor. Hi. Nice to meet you. So what made you uh, pick me up today? My brother was a gypsy. He used to always be on this highway going out to California. He would oh, come yeah? back and he would California, and then cut uh, east from there, uh, eventually end up. <coughs> ending up in the southeast, then up the eastern seaboard, up to Maine. The goal did is... anybody threaten you ever? Uh, it's no. All good? No, all good. Uh, I've actually hitchhiked in 25 countries now, Yeah. Uh, and I really haven't had that many problems. Uh, the only good. problems I'd say is that some people will uh, they'll pick you up and they'll have they'll be like drunk or something like that, and their yeah. their driving isn't that that good. But, okay. Uh, most part, it's been a uh, pretty smooth sailing. Do you see many hitchhikers around these parts? No. No. Very seldom. Yeah. Now down, uh, down in Wilkesbury, you can see them more. Yeah. But the cops pick you up around here. So. Oh, do they? Yeah. And yeah, what? my brother got arrested for it a couple times. Yeah, I, I know it's not banned in Pennsylvania, but they don't like it on the turnpike on the interstates. Yeah. Um, so ideally, if you're at the very start of the on-ramp, you're not technically on the interstate, so they can't really complain. Okay. But they. But I know on the cross valley and stuff, it says no pedestrians allowed. Yeah, once you walk past those signs that say no pedestrians, you're in... You're uh, then you're in trouble. Yeah, because uh, they're fairly clearly marked, so it's tough to claim ignorance on those. But if you're before those signs... Yeah. The, the 
hitchhike and I, I got raped one time. Wow. Sorry that happened. Yeah. But I, I was 18 years old. Locally, or is that just no? Uh -uh, that, that pretty much that would stop it. Yeah. it yeah. 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 And are you just on your way home right now? Yeah, I just got out of work. I'm gonna go home and go to my other job. two jobs right now? Yeah, I work part-time at a craft store. Yeah. Because I like to do a lot of crafts and they give you a 30% discount. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, poor dear. That makes me sad.
so I guess I'll pull off before I get off and then this way you can just stay on this road if you can just go across a little bit. I, I have to get off the highway itself. I'll have to go back to another on-ramp is what I'll have to do. You have to go to an on-ramp. But you can just pull, like, well, I'll you're pulling, you're taking the exit off, right? Yeah, I'm taking the exit off. So just when you take the exit, wherever there's a safe place to pull over, kind of down there, I'll just get out there. Well, I'll take you to the on-ramp. Okay. I'll take you close to it. Alright. Yeah, wherever there's a, a safe place uh, for okay. both you and the cars around you.
standard. Not many people do that anymore. I learned on one. Yeah. I'd rather not have one, you know? Yeah. It's kind of, they didn't have much. I went to um, JD Bi Rider and they didn't have much in the SUV yeah. except this. There was another Ford Escape there. So I didn't like it so much. So I had my choice of this or that. Oh, okay. And so usually you save a bit of money on a used standard because not many people drive them, right? Yeah. I know, that's the good thing about it, because none of my kids know how to drive. <laughs> so they can't be like, hey, give me the, yeah, they can't give me the car, it. yeah. But then sometimes that, zone, that, that bites you in the butt, too, because you want them to go to the store and get you something. That's and true. It's a, it's a give and take. So is this the on ramps just up here? Okay, so... Just say I pull over like even here and I can walk there. Then we don't have to deal with... Uh... Well, I can, I can get around now. Okay. I can get around. So, I'm south. This is what you want. You want south? Yeah, that's yeah, north. That's so, okay. yeah, the next one. Then we gotta come around. Oh, so we're going one exit back and then back. Okay. Yeah. so much for the ride yeah. and taking me on your way as well got a little lost yeah i did i was a little confused <laughs> well we did that because uh, yeah anyway all right thank you so much for that i do appreciate yeah. that i just need one sec to get my bag and then i'll be out of here Okay, so, um, I need to, okay, I'm gonna pull out my phone. So what happened is my chat closed on here, and I didn't feel like restarting the stream right then. Does anyone know any way where, like, if chat closes on my streaming device, which is on Streamlabs, is there any way to make it come back without restarting the whole stream?
there even one scary situation on the dirty so far? Yes, I'm getting shot at. Hi, Gina. Does anyone know? Try switching apps? Like, I can. But it actually says on my, my, my chat thing, chat closed. It's not a pop-out, it's, it's part of Streamlabs. Mapped out? No, exactly. No. Then we'll have T chat, split screen screen lines, and T chat. I should look at doing something like that. Uh, T chat. Okay. They charge your devices, big batteries. Hang towards you now, man. Oh, you're just coming by to say hi? That'd be fun. Baby wolf. Yeah, I'm having a great day. Two rides so far. It's been fun. Hey! How's it going? Oh, hi. What's your name on Twitch? Uh, crack. Crack? Well, it's nice to meet you, it's, man. Uh, it's kind of stock, man. I didn't even stop in that <laughs> So, were you the one that drove by before? Yeah, I was like, hey. <laughs> what did you say, Trevor? Yeah. Did you drove past? Yeah. By that, then you drove by. I'm like, like, where is this lady taking? I know she drove all over the place. She was very nice. She just didn't know where she was going. Yeah, she was all over the place. <laughs> so, just that, you know, there's a hitchhiker in here. So thought you'd come say hi. Yeah. Well, I saw you. Yeah. Just thought if I was in. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, it's cool to say hi to people that watch the stream, put a face to the name and everything like that. So, I'm happy you came back. <laughs> yeah, I'll need that luck. Alright, are you, do you have stuff to do or is this your day off? Day off? Alright, well, have a nice day off. I'll just be thumb out there hitchhiking. Have a good time. Alright, yeah, see you, man. There's a way you can? Really? How do I do that? No, it was a, it was a viewer. Relic, how do I restart chat? Without shutting down the stream. How do I do it? I'd rather not just restart the whole thing. Yeah, let teach out those shutting down the whole stream. And just have it closed on here. It's closed, but I'd have to like log into that to get authenticated through my other phone on that. Now chat on my screen. So when I read I read it off my streaming device and it closed on there. And as far as I, like, on my other device, like, once chat closes on, on the streaming device, this, this thing that I'm pointing at right there, um, yeah, I just can't bring it back up. Refresh source. What is that? I, I don't know how to do that. It doesn't fix the problem though that it's broken. Like I, I guess I can't bring up chat on a separate thing, but still the problem being uh, closed on my stream labs. I hit live refresh source. I understand that you said that. I just don't know what that means. Like I can refresh the whole stream as an end stream then restart it again. Connection out here, Verizon. Thanks, Verizon. Change 
Changing resolution does not work without restarting the stream. No, no. Changing resolution does not reset it. You have to restart the stream if you want to change resolution and bitrate. Yeah, at this point, I'm wasting too much time just being like, how do I do it? I'm just going to restart really quickly. Uh, it's not going anywhere. I'll be back in uh, about 10 seconds. <laughs> 